is. Um, I can't and, really and, explain why. Um, well, no, I say that, that's the thing. It's one of those things you either love it or hate it. The less options is actually one of the things about Chrome <laughs> slash Chromium that drives me a little nuts. To this yeah. day, I still cannot figure out how in Chrome or Chromium to do a print preview. You know, I, when I'm browsing in Chrome or Chromium, more often than not, I'll open Firefox, do a print preview, find the page I want, and then print it in Chrome. Because it's like, it's just, it's because I can't figure out how to do it. it it's because it has so few options. The other thing is, I have bajillions of tabs open, and I should stop using this as a justification for Firefox, because my favorite plugin for Firefox, Tree Style Tabs, it was always in yeah. beta, but it's now been sandboxed by Mozilla. Yeah, so it caused me a lot of trouble. I remember back in the SUSE days, I know goes way back from five years ago. Uh, the uh, I, I completely wasted a whole early morning, about three four hours, because the thing messed up my Firefox. Uh, and it's something I downloaded from China back then. Uh, one of the one the one I recommend is uh, I think it's called uh, Mix something uh, Tab Mix. Uh, one of those things that basically allows you to even color tabs and to organize them in all kinds of ways and drag and drop them in in more advanced ways than the default uh, Firefox installation would would help you do it. But yeah, that's uh, well. It, it, well, but I'm just a huge fan of Tree. It, it, honestly, if Chrome or Chromium, if Chrome slash Chromium either built it into the browser as an option you can tag along, or somebody made a plugin that did it, that I would honestly consider it because there's something to be said for just being able to have 50 plus tabs organized in a tree on the right or left hand side. It's just of considerable value when you have as much open as I do. Why, why not do it with bookmarks? Um, could say, do you have how much RAM do you how much uh, memory do you have? Um, two to eight gig, depending on the system. All right. Okay. It's, uh, with my my case, I have two gigs of of RAM, of physical memory. So having too many tabs open is not very. And I have about ten desktops of different things. So I couldn't open too many tabs without taking the swap files. And I yeah, I heard of people. Yeah, well, it, 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 it's just a habit I got into a few years ago on the way I organize my workflow. Basically, I uh, I have a Firefox window open, and then anything that's in conjunction with this workflow, which can be upwards of a dozen, in, in one case, 140 tabs, because I was just going into something and exploring and everything, but I just leave them all in that one window, uh, and then my other phase is in another window and so forth. It's, it's my subsorting of that particular desktop, and it's a habit I got into, and I've gotten used to doing it. Well... I think we're coming towards the end of the show, and uh, time is pressing. Um, so, Roy and Rusty, I'll extend to you any last words for the show before I do my my little roundup. And we have the silence. So, uh, with that in mind, um, thank you all very much for listening. Thank you for downloading and uh, spending the time with us this evening. Um, you'll hear us again, um, hopefully the full crew. Uh, same place, uh, same time, in a few days' time, uh, providing that Bill Gates doesn't come up with his £20 million, in which case I will be tweeting and denting from a boat in Barbados, and you won't see me for love and the money on the Tech Bite show. So with that in mind, we'll go off with, um, I believe, just the standard uh, intro track, which is by Tom Smith, it's I Fought the Troll. Mm -hmm. And uh, thanks everybody for listening, and we'll see you again soon. Get sauce. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. He tried to boss me and was out boss. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. Underneath his creeper bridge, hoping goats will cross. Quoting Ashcroft and Tom Ridge, I fought the troll and the Troll lost, I fought the troll and the troll lost. He's even dumber than Mickey Cos. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. Wouldn't last two minutes with David Frost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. His worldview 
sounds like pro wrestling, although not as nuanced. Behind his eyes, the wind's whistling. I thought the troll and the troll lost. I thought the troll and the troll lost. I kicked him off a Pentagon and Atrios. I thought the troll and the troll lost. I thought the troll and the troll lost. He's permanently banned from daily costs. I thought the troll and the troll lost. I thought the troll and the troll lost. And in November, W and all his thugs will toss. We'll try to fix America. I thought the troll and the troll lost. I thought the troll and the troll lost. And all you trolls out there trying to aggravate everyone with your stupidity, illogic, and blind, unthinking devotion to the Bush regime, this section is especially for you. I'm not going to name any of you out loud, not wanting to give you even the slightest possible notoriety, but as you sink under the weight of your own asininity into an intellectual La Brea tar pit, you can imagine that I sing your nom de guerre right now and bask in a stolen fame you don't deserve. <laughs> 